In this video you will learn all what you need about Romanesca. Welcome in this new video, I'm Ricardo Simuticus Practicus and with this video I want to start a not long series but interesting series about Galant Schemata. As you know or maybe you don't know, in the Galant period, so the Baroque but also in Corelli, also in uh, the late by Baroque music, in classical music like Mozart and other contemporary uh, co composers, we can individuate some uh, patterns that all composers use for particular moments, for particular situation. And these, all these passages are called Galant Schematas, and there are a pretty good number of Galant Schematas. In this video, the first video about Galan Schemata, we talk about, obviously, Romanesca. So, what is the Romanesca? The Romanesca is the opening move for excellence. For each one of these videos about Galan Schematas, you can download from my Patreon a PDF, which is very useful for you, with all the reductions, all the explanations, all the examples that I'm gonna play, and with, the, with you can practice a lot. And then also this is the occasion for recording other videos for improvisation elements. But now don't talk about this and let's start with the Romanesca. The Romanesca is the opening move par excellence. And we have three types of Romanesca. The first one is called leaping Romanesca because the bass is leaping. A four down, second up, four down, second up and four down. So let's see this example in C major. This is the Romanesca. We start from the first degree of the scale, C, then we leap down by a fourth to the G, then one degree up, then go down of a fourth, then one degree, a semitone up, and then down of a fourth. Okay, this is the Romanesca, and the correct harmonization of this kind of Romanesca is all with three and five chords, in this way. As you can see, under the bass, you can read some numbers, numbers, circled numbers, white numbers. These are the degrees of the scale, because we are in C major, the 1 refers to the C, and for example, the 5 refers to the 5th degree, the G. The upper numbers, the numbers you can see above the right hand, that are black and not white, are the same. So the numbers of the degrees, but in the melody. The only difference is that white numbers refers to the bass, and the other numbers, the black numbers, refers to the melody. So, as you can see, the harmonization of the first kind of Romanesca is really simple. <laughs> this starting in the th with the third so in the second position because in this way i can play a graceful melody yes also if i start with the octave i can play a melody but you can listen to these octaves that are not really so graceful. Starting with the third, so E in this case, is much better. And then how can we practice this Romanesca? The first step is transposing it through all the keys. The major. B flat major, and a good exercise you can do, for example, is 
Um, watch my video about the rule of the octave, here you can see the link, and uh, practice one key, for, one key, for example, G major, rule of the octave, G major, first position. <laughs> Second position, third position, okay, and uh, then we can play the Romanesca. So, first degree, fifth, sixth, third. Fourth and first. This is a useful exercise. And watch the keyboard, watch all the intervals you play, watch all the keys, and think at the scale when you watch the keyboard. Remember that improvisation is not only a listening, listening skill, but also an eye skill. I have to see what I play. Okay? The second type of Romanesca is the stepwise Romanesca. The bass is simple. It is only a scale. Why? As you can see, in the, in the width bit, not in the, on the down bit, but on the width bit, I have the upper third then of the previous Lipping Romanesca. So, this is not, but that is the upper third, then the same. And then not E, but is upper third, so G, then F, and then E, that is the upper third of C. And the harmonization of this kind of Romanesque is an alternation of 3 5 chord and 3 6 chord in this way. In my opinion, this is more changeable because we have parallel tenths. And also for this kind of Romanesca, you can transpose it. For example, G major. Then D major. Then, for example, B flat major, or for example, A flat major. And all the keys. The third type of Romanesca is the Gallant Romanesca. So, the Gallant Romanesca is pretty similar to the stepwise Romanescan in its first three notes. Let's see. These three notes are harmonized in the same way. So we have three five chord, three six chord, and then three five chord. But now on the E, we have a six. The reason is that in the game style, this E wants to go wants to move up to the F, to the F. This is called the solmization Mi Fa. For this kind of Romanescas and this kind of Gala Schematas and Baroque music, the knowledge of solmization is really important because the solmization was the basic knowledge at the age of this period, from the 11th century all to this period and also to the 19th century. And for that, if you don't know solmization and if you want to learn solmization with the old method, but with a fun, a good, and the best approach, there is a solmization super cruise for you. You can find it in the description. So in this kind of Romanesca, the Galant Romanesca, I have the 6 here, yes, but I can also use the flat 7th. better about this flat 7 in the next video, in, um, in the next video about the printer. So for the moment these are the three kind, the three types of Romanesca we know. First of all the leaping Romanesca, the 
Then the stepwise Romanesque. And then the gallant Romanesque. Remember that uh, you should transpose all these passages, all these Romanescas through all the keys if you, want, if you want to improve your improvisation skills. For example, uh, also the Galant Romanesca. Let's try it in B flat major. Okay. Now let's try it in D major. Now let's try it in, um, for example, A major. And now, as the last example, in A flat major. Good. Now let's see some examples from music. Okay, this example is a from a partimento by Mattei in C major. So the bass is a simple Romanesca, but let's play the numeration he writes. happens here? Here simply at, at the place of parallel thirds in the upper voice we can use suspensions so 4, 3 suspension when I have the third and the fifth then 9, 8 suspension when I have the um, three, the, the octave in the, th in the third then another time, 4, 3 suspension. Then 9, 8. Then 4, 3. Then 9, 8, another time. And then the 7 for finishing and making a simple game. So, I can also transpose this Romanesca in other keys. B flat major. maybe G major This is a useful exercise Another example is from Paisiello an E flat major passage from his Partimento in C minor So let's read the bass Also, in this case, we can read numbers that are uh, the numeration with double suspensions. So, the harmonization is... Okay, what happens in this realization? So, I have the octave and the three, then four, six, so double suspension to three, five, then at the place of the nine we have the ninth that is indicated with the number two, and the other suspension that is the third, the four, and the three. Four, six, three, five, two, four, four, six, and then we have two, four, three, eight is resolution, the double suspension, then the seventh, then we have the four, six, three, five, and a cadence. Simple. Let's play another time.
We can also transpose this example in other case for practicing. For example, let's transpose it in uh, D major. So asking you when you want to transpose an example, what is the first note in the new key and the upper note in the new key? So if I have the this, E becomes D and G, because G is the major third of E, G becomes F sharp because it is the major third of D. Good. Another example of Romanesca is from Handel exercises from Princess M. The exercises in B flat major is one of the last exercises. This is obviously a Romanesca. So. And this is a possible realization. Also in this case, I have this melody. 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5 in the top voice that we can call in, with the solmization La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, U. That is the hexachord. We can see another example from Cimarosa like this. This is a common Romanesca. Really interesting is this example by Mozart from the Magic Flute. The particular aspect of this example is that the parallel thirds are not in the top voice, but in the upper voice we have a common note of two bars and two bars. That was, if we look correctly, this. Just, so this is an inversion. So and this is the Romanesca. And then we don't have the F here, but the two upper voices are inverted. Also, this is an interesting particular uh, romantica. The next example is from Schobert. Let's play it. As you can see, in this example we have the bass with F, E, so 3-5 chords, 3-6 chord, 3-5 chord, 3-6 chord, 3-5 chord, 3-6 chord, and then a okay. key. And in the upper voice we have the third degree, so 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5. This example and the previous one are the stepwise Romanesca. So, Another example about the Gallant Romanesca. This is a sonata by Vodiska. As you can remember, the Gallant Romanesca is similar in its first three notes. But on the fourth note we have the sixth that with the semitone mi fa in solmization works like a living tone. 
then we can see a passage that will be the printer, but we're gonna talk about printer in the next video. The last example is from Hasse in F major. Let's play it. Also, this example is a Gallant Romanesca. We can see a 3 5 chord, then a 3 6 chord, then a 3 5 chord, and then a 3 6 chord, and then a little cadence. It is a deceptive cadence. Okay, well done. This video was about Romanesca, but how can we apply Romanesca for our compositions and our improvisations? I make other videos about Romanesca and how to apply other schematics for our improvisation, for your improvisation and composition, and these videos will be uh, videos of improvisation elements, that is an exclusive series on my Patreon where you can learn by yourself with simple, clear and short exercise improvisation step by step and with all new videos every week. And supporting my activity, you can also have the access to the PDF of this video with the explanations of the examples you have been seeing overlay and all the others examples from music. I hope that this video has been useful for you. So subscribe to this channel if you like this content, give me your gamble, and see you on Patreon with a lot of extra contents.